Hey, just a quick video today. I'm very busy clearing up errands and doing my uh, shifts and stuff, but I thought I'd play a little bit with F. Norris. As you know, as you can see here, I pretty much only played Gal uh, when this game came out on PC, but uh, I've been playing with F. Norris a lot more uh, on the Switch version. I, I probably have like I don't know, 10, 15 hours in that port already. <laughs> I've been playing it so much, uh, I was even playing on the bus today. So I thought I'd show a little bit of my progress with him. I actually just got an A rank with him on Survival on, uh, on the Switch port. Coming from him after playing Gal almost exclusively is kind of difficult because uh, he doesn't have anywhere near as much crowd control as Gal does. Apparently there's like a small modding scene for this, but it doesn't seem like anybody has done anything terribly interesting. I was kind of researching it uh, earlier tonight, and I uh, didn't really seem to find anything too interesting. Maybe I'll ask him to make a mod for me. <laughs> the developer, that is. It'd be cool to have a mod where uh, there's less of an IPS or gravity system. I think that would make uh, a lot of the more advanced combos like something you can actually do in the game. Because right now you basically will never pull any of that stuff in the training mode off. Very similar to a modern fighting game in that regard. A lot of fighting games have uh, really bad trials that you can basically never, the combos you can never do them in an actual match. That's kind of how the combos are in this game. <laughs> it's like they're cool and all, but kind of a waste of time to learn if you're like actually trying to get better at the game.
definitely cool how, you know, in modern video games, like, everything has to have progression systems, and a lot of times they aren't even interesting. <laughs> like, I just played, you know, two games these past few months, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 and Dragon Quest Heroes 2, which have, they both have progression systems, but neither of them are very interesting. You know, most of the stuff that you unlock or, or earn or grind for is all just base damage increasers. I don't really find to be engaging gameplay, for me at least. And in this game, pretty much everything is all skill. You don't really unlock anything that makes things easier. It's mostly just how you grow as a player. And I think it's pretty cool to have a game that actually gives you that kind of experience, because it's definitely very lacking. You know, we have more games coming out now than ever, but <laughs> you can't really find a good, like, skill-based game that often. A lot of the games that even claim to be skill-based still have a progression system, and, and it's like sometimes you can get through the game at level 1, kind of like Neo, but it's basically just... I've seen the speedruns for that game. <laughs> the level 1, it's, it's basically just doing the, the Sloth Talisman and the Kusari Gama, the like, rapid combo attack the whole game. <laughs> so it's cool to have something that's just like, you know, hey, you can unlock everything not everything, but the majority of the, the modes and stuff, and just like a couple hours of playing if you have good experience. Like, I have pretty much just as much stuff unlocked on my Switch file, and like, it has to be at least half the time as I do on here, because I got better at the game. I do th wish he, he kind of went a little bit more, uh, Overboard with the unlockables, like give you crazy mutator mutators for like the uh, unlockable modes, like less combo gravity, like I said, or like a tag mode or something. That'll be really cool. But it seems like he's kind of done developing this game, which is understandable. It's one guy making it. <laughs> like I enjoyed Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 for what it was, but the gear was very boring and the combat wasn't terribly interesting either, so I kind of got left with kind of a hollow experience after a while. I definitely love grinding. I definitely have played a lot of grindy games, but there has to be something there to keep me interested, and if there's not, then I'm pretty much going to get out of there <laughs> pretty quickly. Move on to the next game. Definitely see I've improved with this character a lot just from playing on the Switch version. Last thing he did for this game was he added uh, 144 frames per second support, which is definitely nice. And as much as people brag about their computers and you know how high the frame rates can go, <laughs> and that doesn't matter that much on some games. I think on many games, 60 is, is more than enough. But on 2D games, there's definitely an uh, extra massive amount of uh, fluidity from playing at a higher frame rate. I barely noticed the difference on the couple... I have a couple, uh, 
3D games that I can run at 144 hertz, which is the frame rate of my monitor. But I really can't tell the difference as much as I can with 2D games. So it's nice of him to add that. He basically just said that he got one of these monitors himself and just wanted to make it look better. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have Contra Rogue, Rogue Core, which uh, runs at 30 FPS locked, which is like totally unacceptable for a, a PC port 2019. I was surprised at how well uh, Parsec worked last night. That was actually a lot of fun. We'll have to do that again. Electric Cat got his, uh, his last word in, even though I spared him. How rude.
like how the people in the back are like people who uh, backseat game you on Twitch and say that you suck when they have no uh, no proof of them being any better at the game. <laughs> like telling him he sucks and that they want their money back. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Anyway, that's a that's a no miss up to uh, level six, which is not bad at all. I've been playing with him a lot the past few days, and I'm glad I'm starting to make some progress. So I'll probably do like a full 1cc later. I've gotten pretty consistent with 1ccs with him now. I like some of his other costumes, so I want to unlock them at some point. Let's do a survival run. Glad he added like uh, little short, bite-sized ways to play this game. The campaign is still quite long. Uh, the route that I generally do is the speed run route. If you do some of the longer routes, like the one that has the uh, where you fight the Ninja Turtles knockoffs, like that one's like feels like it's 10, 15 minutes longer. And that's like if you want to see the game. Uh, obviously, if you start wiping, then uh, that makes things worse.
Oh man, clutch. <laughs> Got some bad luck there, wasn't able to parry in time. <laughs> I don't know why I fell for the wake up. It's not like I haven't fought him like 15,000 times at this point. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh, obviously, I've been kind of working two jobs here. I've been maintaining this channel and then doing my kitty sitting shift. And uh, it's been kind of physically and mentally exhausting, even though I mostly just sit with the cats and take care of them. Just, just having to get up and, and always go over there and kind of mold my day around it has been kind of difficult. So... Uh, once things calm down, once my neighbor's back from surgery, I assume in a week or two, then I'll be able to devote uh, full time into this again. But uh, honestly, right now, there's not really anything going on. Uh, even next month for me is looking pretty barren. Not really a whole lot that I'm terribly interested in covering. So it'll probably just be random stuff like this anyway. So thanks to you guys for understanding. Uh, I, I can say that I'll be doing more co-op with one sanitarium uh, pretty much whenever we can. Uh, we do live on different states, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to uh, not have any schedule conflicts and stuff like that. But uh, we want to do more of that stuff in the near future, including even PS2 games. I actually got PS2 emulation set up last month, so uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, in terms of this, uh, I'll probably just upload some random gameplay. I might start streaming and speedrunning this game again. You kind of feel this dry period, so stay tuned. Peace.